something different that I uh, <clears throat> I've started kind of looking at, uh, like uh, RHR would of course report, uh, you know, uh, trailing 12 months uh, attrition indexes by job bands, by locations, and all of those things. And uh, they'd also look at, you know, uh, people performance, productivity, and all those kind of things. What I have started asking for is the engagement index. And I find that to be a brilliant leading indicator of uh, how my attrition is going to shape up in the coming three months. And of course, it doesn't go more than three months because uh, people, their mindset, their, their uh, engagement levels also continues to change. But very simple thing, and I'm sure in all our organizations we've seen, during pandemic, we significantly increased our communication activities, people engagement activities, just a, you know, a virtual chai together, right? Everybody comes with their uh, tea mugs and you're having a little bit of a chit chat without an agenda with, with, with teacups. Uh, we did our happy hours as well uh, online virtually, right? But to look at how many people participated, how many showed up for that event, right? And how many who could have showed up and did not show up is a clear indication of how many people feel engaged. It's not about feeling obliged to be there, right? But truly feeling engaged because they believe that these are the people that they relate to. These are the people who are their extended family. These are the people who are their friend circle. These are the people that they uh, kind of uh, work with and share uh, a significant part of their day with, right? And as long as people are feeling that kind of engagement, they are more likely to stay. When people stop showing up, they have disengaged. When people start telling, oh my God, I had so much work that I could not participate, it's a sure indicator that they are looking at you know, a switch.